everyone, this is the Axelar team. We wanted to offer a quick demo of how you would be able to use Satellite to transfer ERC-20 tokens uh, across Axelar's hub of supported blockchains. As of today, we have uh, 23 blockchains that are supported. Uh, seven of them are within the EVM ecosystem, but the balance of them within uh, the Cosmos universe. Uh, the site for Satellite is simply satellite.money, and here you can see on my screen that uh, you're able to quite simply select your source and destination chains along with the token that you would like to transfer. Um, so that's in the widget itself. Uh, but before we go into the main demo, uh, maybe just a quick walkthrough of some of the helpful resources that um, are available on the site. Um, the first of which is if you've not used this site before, if uh, you uh, want to experiment uh, in our testnet or with um, or with testnet tokens, uh, we, we do have a testnet version of that. Um, and the link for that is here. So clicking there, you'll see that you'll uh, be linked up to testnet.satellite.money with the same source, destination, and uh, asset selected for you at the start. But going back to our mainnet resource, um, we uh, here again at satellite.money, what I'd like to do in this demo is transfer uh, USDC from Ethereum to Osmosis, as you see on the screen. Uh, you can pick your selected token in the, in the dropdown as shown here, or uh, we do have uh, what we see as some of the common flows uh, that users have seen. So if you click on these top flows here, um, there are some which you should be able to use to kind of pre-populate your, your selected choices. So another one is transferring uh, Axel tokens from Ethereum to Osmosis. Um, but again, for the purpose of this demo, going to go with the USDC selection. And the supported blockchains, if you, if you just uh, open up this drop down, you, you see the full list here listed in alphabetical order. So with those selections made, I'm going to go ahead and connect some wallets. A, a note on wallet co connections, you don't actually have to connect a wallet. You can certainly uh, trigger the flow of this transaction um, the entire way through um, with exchange accounts or exchange addresses that you import from elsewhere. For ease of use, though, we uh, allow you to kind of hook into a couple of supported wallets that we have um, as of today, which are for uh, everything within our EVM ecosystems, we, we primarily support MetaMask. And for uh, those in the Cosmos ecosystem, uh, including Axelar, uh, we primarily use the Kepler wallet integration for, uh, for those transactions. So um, as I'm transferring to Osmosis, um, you see here you can pre-populate uh, the destination address with the address that I'm just going to grab from my attached Kepler wallet to Satellite. And here, uh, be because my source chain is Ethereum, I'm going to connect my MetaMask to see what my upfront balance is of that. So just clicking these connection options here. There we go. So we see we have uh, roughly a couple hundred uh, USDC in this transfer. Um, once you have those selections made, you see that there's uh, some informational material. Um, the cost that is is incurred in relaying this transaction from Ethereum to Osmosis is, is uh, 10.5 USDC. Um, and we see that the transaction uh, wait time in this case, given that we're coming from Ethereum, which uh, can take a little bit longer, uh, would be roughly 15 minutes or so. Um, it is different per chain, um, as is the relay or gas fee per chain. So if I change this source chain, for example, to Avalanche, we see that the fee is a little bit less um, and the wait time is, is, is a little bit faster versus our Ethereum scenario. So actually for the, for the sake of this demo, let me actually go ahead and do the transfer from Avalanche to Osmosis and uh, j just because of the quicker turnaround in this transaction flow. So going to generate a deposit address. Oh, I have to enter an amount. So let me enter an amount that's greater than the min. So five USDC. You see that I you see here that I'm generating a deposit address. What our network does is it generates a unique deposit address for a transaction that is initiated. And once you make your deposit into that deposit address, our network kicks in and does the it facilitates the transfer all the way to your destination chain. So once you make your deposit after the ad address is generated, um, it'll just be a few minutes before uh, the the funds would appropriately appear in your destination address. You see here, uh, after I clicked get deposit address, there's this little warning label that, that popped up that 
um, that makes sure that you're, you're sending the right asset into the uh, deposit address. So here we're saying the asset that you should send um, is this one with this corresponding contract address and the balance of that in my connected wallet uh, via MetaMask is this 328. This just gives you an assurance that you're sending the right asset into uh, this deposit address that you are uh, making this transfer for. So I'm just gonna make my confirmations. And here, if we scroll down a little bit, uh, you could trigger all of this from MetaMask. So clicking there, switching to Avalanche as my source chain. Uh, just a couple of things to, to note here. You see that my deposit address is this one that ends CAA, which corresponds to the prompt that comes up on my MetaMask screen uh, with this five uh, USDC token that, that I'm selecting to uh, transfer. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And this, uh, this is just waiting for the transaction to get processed on the source chain, so on Avalanche in this case. Um, before we actually send it into our network and transfer it fully to uh, the destination chain in question. And uh, while that's processing, we see uh, that there are links here to uh, various things. One, if you want to copy and paste the deposit address, that's available to you. Um, and this deposit confirmation here would link you to the source chain transaction hash of the deposit that you will have made. So you see that uh, trans transaction detail listed here on Snowtrace. So this will only be a few minutes more, um, but while, that's, while that is completing, uh, just walking through uh, a couple of other helpful resources on the site, one if you click Getting Started, you see um, just some helpful Getting Started resources here, including a link to this video that we're walking through now. Um, there's a medium step-by-step -step guide um, that, that has it for you in text and pictures. Um, a link to all of our uh, supportive token contracts and channel IDs um, within our docs, um, as well as information on uh, the minimum transfer amounts uh, that correspond to the relayer gas fees that we saw in that window when we started the transaction. So that's that. Um, in terms of, so, and you see my transfer already completed here in this window. Um, but going to support, uh, in case issues do come up, uh, we have a thriving community within Discord um, and Twitter uh, that you um, are encouraged to, um, to, to, to join um, in case you have any questions, feedback, um, or obviously issues uh, on, uh, on, on any satellite usage. Uh, so the resources are all linked here. Uh, what we also have here is the ability to s file a ticket in case the, the, uh, the, the Discord community um, doesn't give you uh, a response right away. There, there's the ability to, to file a Zendesk ticket where our, the core team at Axlar would be able to help you um, diagnose that issue more, more deeply. Uh, there's also this link to transaction history. This links you up directly to our Axlar scan where um, it, you can search by things like your destination address or your deposit address, and you can see the full history of transactions that are generated for um, those addresses in question. So that's that. Um, there are pools here as well. Um, so for the assets that we have across various chains, um, there's information here on uh, swap pools that uh, we support and, and, uh, and, and have instantiated. So uh, all of that is within um, this blog article here. Uh, for your perusal, and that, that's about it. It might be worth going through the opposite flow um, at this point, so let me actually uh, hit start over here. I'm gonna switch my chains, um, and going now from not an EVM to a Cosmos based chain, but the reverse, right? So I'm going from Osmosis to, um, let's actually have this going back to Ethereum. Right, okay, so you see my, Osmo my connected Osmosis account um, through my Kepler wallet has roughly 1,000 USDC. Um, my minimum transfer amount escalated to the 10.5 because we're transferring to Ethereum in this case. So I'm gonna transfer 25. Um, this is going to uh, this auto-filled MetaMask address, which is my connected wallet, hitting, a, hitting this generate deposit address button, which would um, take a few seconds to load that deposit address. Um, this is just a warning saying um, if the recipient chain um, doesn't support the asset, you, you want to make sure that it does before you make any deposits into your deposit address. So making that confirmation here. 
One thing to flag in this opposite flow, in going from a Cosmos base chain to, uh, to some other chain, um, but having your Cosmos base chain as your source chain, is the fact that the deposit address that you generate is in fact an axillar prefix deposit address. You can see that in the first five letters here. So the deposit that you're making in this case is uh, actually an IBC transfer from um, that source chain in question to an axillar account, right? So if you, and it's all wired up within satellite, so if we go ahead and hit send from Kepler, you'll see my Kepler pop-up show up indicating that, yeah, what I want to do is, is actually send the 25 USDC via IBC transfer to this deposit address in question, right, um, that you see, oh, where did that go? Click the wrong button, okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to this deposit address uh, corresponding to this uh, channel ID, which is the channel that goes from osmosis to Axelar in this case. So making that approval. And this will just take a second or two to um, have the transaction confirmation appear. So yeah, we see that here our, our network detected the transfer uh, into that deposit address on osmosis, and now it's propagating through our network and ultimately through to uh, your Ethereum, your designated Ethereum account represented by this destination address here. So we don't have to wait for this transaction to complete, but that is, is all we wanted to summarize in this demo here. Um, again, Satellite, you, you can use it to transfer ERC tokens um, that we support at the network level um, across any of our supported chains uh, that, that are across the EVM ecosystem or alternatively the Cosmos-based ecosystem. Um, again, as of September 2022, we're at roughly uh, 23, uh, blockchain ecosystem, ecosystems, but that number is, is expected to grow. So thanks for your time and thanks for watching.